We're done. Two, one, fight. All right, I think now we're on. Yeah, we're on Venga Coolers. They've just started. Is the quality maxed out? All right, quality seems to be maxed out. Does anyone have an idea to find someone to play time limit duels with? I think uh, if you can do it on my um, Discord. Discord.gg slash this is zoot. Get on it. Where all the big boy conversations happen. Maybe. Take this moment to follow me here on Twitch. Hit that follow button. It's free. If you're not following me and you've been watching those, why aren't you not followed yet? All right, my abuse is done. This is Venga's map, by the way. In case you don't know, the amount of times I say that Awoken is his map, it's always his map. Whoa, what's happened to his lightning gun, dude? His LG just... Either, like, his LG went bad, or Cooler's dodge just went into overtime. He's missing a couple of shots here. Claws is actually someone who looks even closer than Venga. As long as mentioned, like Xantaris from uh, um, CS:GO. Xantaris is like Claws. Venga is like super close to them in terms of. He's not quite as close, but he's still super close. Yeah, sorry, CP, because I'm going to end up talking about the lag issues at some point, and I know you don't want to hear it. And you'll be tired of thinking about it or hearing about it. But we know they're coming. But it's still, uh, the situation here is, I think, very much like up for debate. Which will be more clear to people when we get there. This seems really, really straightforward for Venga. He managed to back away from the fights that didn't favor him. And he's mm, executed when it matters most. Wait, did you find out why it was happening? Didn't we have like one lag in the uh, final day? All that rockets off. Shotgun move out is interesting. A nice push from Cooler. I think Vengo is trying to hope that one last rocket is going to somehow keep Cooler at bay, but there was no way that he was stopping. I don't know what Killer Nix means, or NICs mean. Oh, crazy. You didn't know they were in the machines? Brutal. Alright, these rockets are super, super hot. I wonder if he actually wanted to go through the teleport there. He didn't seem quite ready for that. He does get like a half second advantage over him, but Cooler still gets that... Uh, that heavy armor. I still feel like... Venga's LG is like not what I'm used to seeing. I don't know if it's Cooler dodging. Because Cooler's dodging is famously good, but... It's not the LG I'd expect Venga to hit. Oh, network interface cards and killers the brand. Okay, understood. Let's see. Cooler land some pretty nutty LG just then. That almost denies Venga, in fact. It took him so long to be able to get over to that uh, heavy. But this is like a good advantage. You're finding him basically up to spawn. He's been continuously piling pressure. 
And yet Venga survives and is surely going to place himself well for this heavy. Ooh. Super nuts fight here. Venga's going to be annoyed of that, man. Can, how do I go back on this? Is it... I want to go back. Okay, that's 10 seconds of time. So over here, I wonder if the position, the better position to hold would have been not rail, but the other platform above. Hit. Like, how many shots have you got to miss? Cooler's low at this stage. He's got to be sub 30 health. Probably sub 20 health. He's got rockets that he could have used. He's got LG, but if you go close, you're at risk. The thing is, I reckon he could have gone close because he's got double jump and he's got doom. But then Cooler would also then close the gap to try and hit an air rocket of some sort, or he'd be patient and wait for him to land on the ground. So if he keeps hiding behind that pillar, then you could still be hurting. But I wonder if a, a better move to make would have been to jump forward and to double jump onto the mega health. Uh, it's tough to call though. Really tough to call. Ooh. Almost off the map there. <laughs> Tribal for the win. Uh, that was a miscalculation by Cool. Like, he shouldn't have hung around that long. He should have known that Venga would go in for another. Now, that's just like... His LG wasn't even that bad there, but Cooler starts hitting like a truck in these fights. And he manages to hold him back from the Mega Health. And Cooler's timing is as on point as Venga's. I think that I'd be talking about the whole being at Mega when you shouldn't be. But the thing is, I think it was totally reasonable for Venga to think he could survive the fight there and, be, and take the Mega Health himself. It wasn't one of those fights where it's like, okay, you just need the mega health, otherwise it totally falls apart. I think he should have been able to hold his own. But he was like in the air a lot and giving up easy shots. And now he's only got a one frag lead and it's fragile. He's got loads of weapons, but he doesn't have loads of stack. And he gets caught out at a really bad time. Really, really bad time. I don't think he's expecting Cooler to push around quite as fast as he did, even though he was sat there looking at it. And I wonder if a better position would just be to hold rail longer, but then if Cooler orbs up, he's in trouble. Like, it's it's very difficult for Venga to know what the right play is there. But if he heard him down in water, then maybe there, where he's just looking here, that could have been a better position to hold. He's got some really good free damage. This is perfect free damage. He needs to be finishing this kill off as well. Here's the rail. He has to follow up. Alright, this is like super, super clutch. He somehow did all of that without taking any damage. This part, he is taking damage. And that is there. That is infuriating for Venga. Because he probably got him down to no HP again. I actually don't know how Cooler survived that. I think that's insane. This is really good spam. He has to spam that out. So it's still tied up, but Venga's somehow losing these fights that he really shouldn't. Or maybe it's better to say Cooler's winning fights that he really shouldn't be winning. He doesn't have rail, which is a bit of a pain in his backside. This man needs a light armor and needs a rail. He hasn't taken any extra damage from him yet. Okay, hanging around there for that long, I think it hurt him a lot. Can he get there in time? Okay, he's not railable. But this game is still like out of control for him. 
He's only got one rocket. Okay, weapons are fine. Stack is okay. He's still outstacked by Cooler. But now there's a, f a good fighting chance for Venga. And he's been very good at damaging him from uh, a distance. And that being responded to. And that tribal damage is easily leveled out the stacks. But he needs to stop going for those types of fights. And he gets railed. Tribal has been really good to him though. If I were him, I'd just like, slow down, don't overcommit to fights. Don't feel like you've got to win them. And I think he's been doing that, but now that hurts. He's got to know that a push from the teleporter is possible. If he misses that jump, he's probably done for as well. That's a pretty big shot, but again, there's no armor. So he's done almost 200 damage for free at this stage. There's a rocket jump behind him. He didn't hear the rocket jump. Oh, man. What did he think that rocket on the floor was? To me, the first thing I thought was rocket jump. Because it was, it was like shot into immediate impact. There's like nothing else it could have been. Maybe a fake rocket jump. But you would still check if, the, if, if it was a fake rocket jump. You would still check if he came up there. And I'm pretty sure he had the ammunition to work with. It was just like rocket jump into rocket rail. Like it seemed really, really simple for for Cooler in the end of that. He thought, no, I don't think he could have expected him to rocket jump to Mega. Because I'm, I'm going to show you why as well. So here. Uh, wait, can we go back like. So there, the rocket jump. He's like below this. So he's actually by the nail gun spawn that I'd say. At the nail gun spawn, you cannot rocket jump towards the mega health from there. It's absolutely impossible. Because the trajectory you need to have is you basically be going at like 15 degrees across it. Otherwise, you hit your head over here, like just the platform where the 25 health bubble and is further along. Like that platform keeps going a little further as well. It just can't be done. And then, like, cause what does he expect after that? He's getting he's getting wrecked after that. He gets the rocketed, 69 HP, easiest rail of Cooler's life right there. Lost. You lose. Big big momentary lapse of concentration there for Venga. Sorry, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to um, um, make fun, uh, Toastrum. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain. Like, if, if, I, I would, I'd rather explain it, so there's no misconceptions. But there's definitely, definitely, definitely no way that Cooler could have rocket jumped towards the Mega from where he was stood. Let's stop asking me. <laughs> probably, I'm probably stopping the stream. Maybe even after this series because. I think I just had my wife come home. Make hitting your head on ledges do that. Show it. I, I won't show it again. I think I think it's it's explained enough. Um, but it's all on VOD, and I'll upload it to YouTube. Don't stop. Go twenty four hour stream. <laughs> I wish I could had the stamina to do that. If you have to think when you hear that rocket jump, you lose. I I'll try it. Like, it's difficult because at the same time, Venga's really, really keen on getting the mega health positioning. And there's a chance that Cooler could do like a fake rocket jump into an orb across or something like that. Like there's, some, there's so many crazy things that could happen in that one instance. And like that two second frame of time um and i think venga just happened to ignore like a, a big sign that sh deserved like a little more attention even if it was a glance even if it meant that he strafed to the right and went by the tribal area like uh it just pan out terribly for him a nice little ducking and diving behind that corner by the way and oh dude that rocket juicy 25 hours just eat Borny. You're a bigger man than me then. 
There's no way I could do a 24 hour stream. Oh my god. Wait, I want to look at that again because that's just really weird. So it comes below 93. That's a good rocket from Cooler, and he's following up enough damage. Yeah, I think if, if Venga does like a direct rocket, then Cooler doesn't chase through. But it was like chips of damage. You, sit up, baby. <laughs> you did look pretty tired, boy, I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> Who has advantage in this champ matchup? It's a good question, actually. It's a really good question. That's a, and actually, I'll try and go into that, but I just want to say that's a very conservative play from Venga to not re-challenge into that heavy. That's that's called cutting your losses right there. And uh, waiting to fight another day. They're both very different, but at the same time, they can ultimately have that similar effect where you're stacked... You know, and you can move in fast and do some crazy damage with Anarchy, or you're stacked and, you know, you've got dual wield and you also have a big burst potential. But it's like mobility versus raw damage. So, really, really, I don't know. I don't know at all who has the on paper. I think it's actually kind of balanced for two kind of weird reasons. And Cooler's making it seem like BJ is definitely better because his aggression has been, like, unrelenting. And Venga was running out of places to go. I think he had to, like, keep on moving somehow. But he was stopping and starting. And I wish he had his uh, UPS on because one thing about Venga is he's good with Anarchy, but his movement is just not optimal in my opinion. It's made it easier to be optimal because they've nerfed the uh, strafe jump. Oh, God. Because they've nerfed the, sorry, the circle jump speed and acceleration. So it's easier to have your circle jump capped out because it's, this max speed you can get from it is so low anyway. But I think he also could strafe more with it when he bunny hops with it a lot. I just don't think his movement is as good with uh, Anarchy as it is with VQ3 champions. Oh, map score's not changing. Sorry, I didn't I didn't swap it. Thanks very much, uh, Toastrum. That's a lot of damage right there, actually. Cooler got like a bad start to the fight and tried to keep doing what he could with it. Well, I say doing what he could, doing what he could while being bounced around by rockets. And that's like anarchy doing anarchy things. Thing is, if anarchy can get into full control, it's very, very scary for Cooler. So he basically has to do anything he can to keep uh, Venga from being overstacked or even with heavy like having 75 armor then picking up the heavy at that point cooler knows he has to do some damage because otherwise you pop your injection and you are good to go into like an insane fight so i like that when he sees that heavy is getting used very shortly after he's using dual wheel to try and counteract anything aggressive that venga wants to do because that's that's like the the point as an anarchy where you want to be aggressive right after you've picked up a heavy armor a really really sick couple of rockets there it's almost worth pushing it now if you're him okay that dual wield is worth it for the escape but maybe venga missed out on heavy i don't know if he did Oh, no more LG ammo! Oof, okay. My game is super close right now. Oh, he needed to win that. I don't think he can get out here. He's being allowed to somehow. 2 HP, man. 2 HP for a long period of time. It's 
So he's given up a lot of items right there. Heavy's gone, and I think Mega's about to go. Cooler is going to be super overstacked now. Venga, Venga should pick up the Tribal, because his damage with the Tribal is really nice, and he has not got it. All right. Now he has to be careful that he doesn't get pushed over at the rocket spawn entrance. Alright. That's some good slow play there. And two big rockets as well. But I think he's held onto this angle a little bit too sharply. Oof. Wow. I kind of think that that route wasn't bad for him to take, but he's going to go back, I think, for these 225s that are going to respawn in a second. I wonder if he gets stuck out here. 93 HP. He hasn't got any armor. It is making the game very, very slow. Yeah, definitely needs more of this distance damage with the heavy machine gun. Because he is harder to hit than Cooler is. Bloody hell. Right, I'll, I'll answer that, Bonnie, after. Let's go, I'm going to go through the, the map first and we'll, uh, we'll have a chat. I see stars. Kind of low algae ammo, which makes life kind of difficult. Right, I think I've watched a lot of this live. I do not remember it being like this for so long. Oh, I caught out super hard there. That's going to be a frag in a second. You could keep pushing him. I think Cooler still had health to spend or to spare. He's even used, like, he would much rather use that when he's already on 100 plus HP. So this injection kind of sucks. Oh my god. Cool just jumps across. Yeah, absolutely worth it for him. Even if he gets hit by a direct, he gets the kill there no matter what. Five to three. So this is like bad news right now. It's taken Venga so long to try and play this out of control. And he's still got a late lead to chase. Can he get heavy? All right. He keeps trying these like pot shots at trying to position himself on heavy. But nothing's really... Manifesting itself from there. So he's done some not bad damage, actually. And Cooler's being pretty aggressive. Like, I don't really agree with his aggression. Especially that that's like a... Uh, really a no-no choke point to go through. We've got a minute to go and Venga's chasing one frag and he really needs a few more weapons to work with. This hourglass picking that up's good. I don't even know if he has timing on the Mega. I think he's hoping for the best with it. But he needs more rockets. He needs either Mega or Injection and he needs to go, go, go. And I hope you guys are ready for some drama in a moment as well. Oh, he can't get heavy. Okay, the fact that he loses heavy and he hasn't done any damage since is pretty painful for him. So right here, this is when he really... He has a big chance to come back. And boom, 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 boom. And now, guys. What could have happened? What could have happened there? What could have happened in this climactic moment? The lag's obviously shit and terrible and it should never happen. Vaughn says he would have smashed the PC up. Don't blame me. I'm uh, impressed at Venga's control, if anything. Yeah. And right there, that... Okay, let me get my face away. That there tells me... Yeah. Fuck this, right? 
Like that is brutal, dude. I do not know how you can mentally compose yourself after that. But let's let's go back a bit in time a little and, and have a look. So right here, he ends up losing out on this heavy fight. He's done some good damage. There's a hundred armor there for cooler. He took that 24 just before, and his passive might take him up to 50. I don't know uh, what his health would look like. Uh, Mega. Does Mega get taken? Mega doesn't get taken. So in this instance, Cool is going to get that 25. He's probably on like 175-ish there, maybe? Maybe a bit less. I What I heard it from this point, I think he might have been on like 120 or 30 is what someone told me. But who's favored in this position? Maybe if The thing is, if Venga gets one good rocket, or if he can leave the fight, get that light armor, and wrap around and fight him in 5 or 10 seconds, then... Like, I don't, I'm not sure Venga wins this fight, but if Venga can get away and re-engage in 5 to 15 seconds, then it is still possible, in my opinion. But otherwise, Cooler would... has like a, a 75 to... 85% chance of winning this particular fight right here, in my opinion. But it's so hard to tell, like, how the rest of the fight goes. Cooler's over here. Like, I don't even know how he got there or anything Balls like that. That makes out. no sense to me. Hey, Rotten Rose, what's up? Thanks very much for the 10 months. Oh, look at that. Yeah. This isn't the stuff that we love looking at, but it's, um, it's interesting to break down the could-haves, would-haves, etc. What did they end up deciding about the free? Well, I think uh, it ended up being Cooler's takes the 2-0 and maps in the end. Um, although I think there is like a world where you could fight for like a one frag difference, 30 seconds of game being played because it's just so destructive for your game there. I still think there's a world in which in those last 30 seconds, Venga can make a comeback. Even if it, the fight isn't decided there. Because Anarchy is fast. He can get back into a fight like like this. And we know that Venga can pull pull things out of a hat. I mean, timeout there, would it would break everything to call a timeout. Like, even if we have the timeout feature, everything there is just... Is just broken completely it's a it's a tough one right it's a tough one but you like as an admin you don't want to have to replay it but as a player you're like dude i'm like one frag away from tying up versus cooler with 20 30 seconds to go in a situation where he has weapons and can challenge it's It's brutal. Like, I don't know. You can fight for anything being the right decision to be made. Um, I just feel bad because I'm a Venga fanboy. And he just got totally stuffed in that situation. And he's essentially lost by like a frag. Two maps in a row. Yeah, I don't. it wasn't anything to do with the game. I don't know. I, I don't think the whole game should be replayed. The whole game should be replayed. That's crazy. But uh, there's definitely been things like this that happened before. And and it happened in the tournament where you would replay a certain set of time with X amount of frag advantage for whatever that score was in the end. Uh, CP, who was admin there, said it was a network card that... There was a network card that was inside the computers that... I don't know, was causing an issue? This is what happens when you're that close. Man, that's brutal. Um, yeah, we'll leave that game there because we know that uh, Cooler won it in the end. And that's a hard day at the office there. That's a really, really hard day at the office. That's like the nightmare for a player to have to go through something like that, let alone like at any point during the game, but especially like at that type of m moment in the game. I mean, Peter, it just was the problem. It's literally being told to us by an admin from there.
Uh, PCs are provided from... I don't even know where. I, don't, I think maybe the sponsor? Of what I'm pretty sure about? Uh, Borny was asking an interesting question before. Considering Razy Beat Cooler and Rafa, what do you think was his issue? Wait, considering Razy Beat Cooler and Kilson. I mean, it's all about um, matchups, right? Razy beat every single European player during the round robin. Um, but I think he lost to, like, Nosfer, Rafa, and Dehang. Nosfer, I think he was overconfident going into the matchup. Didn't give Nosfer necessarily enough respect. I don't know against Dehang. I'm not sure if I've seen the game yet. If I have, it's not fresh in my mind. Um, Rafa was some very fine lines. I think there were some instances where uh, 